Shalom to everyone. My name is Rabbi Howard Wolk. I'm the community chaplain with Jewish Family Service of Dallas. Uh, I work with Faith Presbyterian Hospice and um, happy to share some thoughts with you. I hope this finds all of you well. On the Jewish calendar, we're now in the midst of the uh, high holiday uh, period, uh, time of the calendar for uh, personal introspection. Uh, we uh, examine different aspects of our lives. Uh, we look into our relationship with God and into our relationship uh, with other people. How have we treated people in the past year? Not an easy task to think back on 12 months of, of actions, of speaking. Uh, it's a serious time uh, of the year. And um, Yom Kippur, the Jewish Day of Atonement, the genesis of that day is that is the day when Moses descended from Mount Sinai with the second tablets of the Ten Commandments. And God said, I have atoned, I have forgiven the people for the sin of the golden calf. And uh, that's the start of that day. It's uh, the most solemn day of the Jewish year. It's a fast day, uh, no eating, no drinking for uh, for 25 hours, many hours spent in the synagogue. Uh, but we're told that before we, we come to services on Yom Kippur, we first have to set things in order with other people to make amends, to apologize, things I may have said or, or done to other individuals, to hurt them, to embarrass them. Uh, not so easy for many people, very difficult uh, to say, I'm sorry. Uh, but that really has to be part uh, of an individual's lifestyle, that if we do do something wrong, we have to make amends. The first has to be a realization that I did something wrong, feeling of regret, and then go to the person directly uh, to ask for uh, forgiveness. Uh, we ultimately crown the 10 days of repentance with a long blast from the shofar from the ram's horn. Uh, we literally and figuratively end the high holidays on a high note, and it signifies our confidence that if our prayers were offered uh, with sincerity, God, who is compassionate and merciful and loving, will in fact forgive us uh, for, our, for our sins. But things we did to other people, we have to correct them with other people. So we've celebrated, as I speak to you, the holiday of Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year. We're coming up to, in a few days, Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. And five days after the Day of Atonement is the holiday of Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles, a very festive holiday punctuated by our dwelling in Sukkot, in booths, temporary dwellings that people put up in their backyards. And this booth, Sukkah in Hebrew, becomes our home for all the days of the holiday. We have meals there, we entertain uh, people there. Uh, when my children were young and at home, uh, there's usually a baseball playoff game or a football game uh, during the, the, the intermediate days of the holiday uh, when we could watch TV. So I'd bring out a battery-operated television to the sukkah uh, to, watch, uh, to watch the ball game. This, uh, the, the Bible tells us that it was in these booths, these tabernacles, that God uh, had the Israelites dwell during the 40 years in the desert. And just one one idea to the structure itself. Uh, the walls of the sukkah of the uh, booth can be made of any material. They just have to withstand the normal wind. So people, many people uh, buy prefab uh, uh, sukkahs made out of canvas and there's piping and one, two, three. People use uh, the back walls, the outside walls of their homes. They can be made of wood. Uh, the most important part of the sukkah is the roof, is the top. 
which has to be from something that grows from the ground that is detached from the ground. So branches of a tree that have been cut off from the tree. Many people purchase bamboo mats that they roll on top, uh, on top of uh, cross beams. Uh, it's made to be not permanent. And the idea is when we sit in the sukkah at night, we look up, we see the stars, we see the moon. If it rains, the rain has to be able to get in. If it rains and no rain gets in, that's called your living room. If it rains so hard, of course, we go into the house. But when we look up, we see the sky. The first night of the holiday is the brightest moon of the year, what the farmers call the harvest moon. You can literally read by the moonlight. And the idea is when we look up, we see the moon, the stars, we see the sky during the day. We are reminded of God's presence over us. We are reminded of God's protecting us, of God's blessing. And that's important for every human being. Uh, no matter where he or she is in their stage of life, whatever their situation, they should never overlook the blessings that God uh, gives to us, we should always remain positive. Certainly, there are a lot of negative, bad things happening in the world today, but it behooves us to remain hopeful and, and positive. And so I want to thank everyone for your attention. I want to wish uh, everyone a happy and healthy uh, New Year and uh, all the best to you and your families. Shalom.